Pope Francis is in the midst of meeting this week with three delegations of Indigenous people from Canada. The discussions began on Monday and will continue tomorrow and Friday. The groups are at the Vatican following decades of alleged abuse at government-funded schools run by Christian organizations. They are joined by several Catholic bishops from Canada. So today, On Monday, Indigenous people detailed the abuse and suffering they say came from Catholic priests and school workers. Joining us now from Rome is Bishop William McGrodden, Vice President of the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops and one of the clergy who has joined the Indigenous groups. Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Uh, um, first off, if you don't mind, can you remind us of some of the allegations against the government-funded Christian schools and specifically uh, the alleged decades of abuse by some Catholic priests and school workers? Well, basically, many of these stories came to light uh, in the late 80s and 90s. And at that point, um, the religious congregations that ran the schools offered apologies, uh, recognizing that sometimes sexual abuse and violence was perpetrated upon the students who were there in the residential schools in most uh, provinces in Canada. And since that time, uh, the Canadian government also has been involved, recognizing that they were the architects. Uh, they established the system of the residential schools. And so both the church and the state and the government have realized that there needs to be uh, paths of reconciliation uh, so that our people, uh, the communities, uh, begin to heal, especially families that have suffered from this particular type of uh, trauma in their lives through their parents or grandparents. Now, can you talk to us now about the meetings uh, between the Holy Father and the Indigenous groups? How are they going so far? Well, these encounters that are now taking place here in Rome, uh, we've been planning for this for close to two years. And so we've worked with three distinct communities, uh, the First Nations, the Métis, and the Inuit. And the Vatican, through the Secretary of State and Pope Francis, wanted to afford each of these communities private encounters. And so there are three that have been scheduled. Already two of them have been completed. And part of the delegations are survivors of residential schools, uh, elders and knowledge keepers, and youth as well. And Pope Francis has been very attentive in the first two encounters, uh, listening to those uh, who are sharing the pain and the suffering but also their hopes uh, for the future, that uh, these meetings uh, can begin a new path of relationship with the church, and also that we can be walking with these communities so that, you know, our understanding of the gospel can be truly demonstrated in making sure that we're working towards a healing, uh, a path for these communities for the future. And before I let you go, I understand um, there's been some talk that Pope Francis will travel to Canada soon. Can you tell us what a visit from the Holy Father, what that would mean for everyone involved? Well, I believe, Tracy, you know, as we know in Scripture, you know, the shadow of Peter uh, can often bring a, a sense of healing and peace. And why the Holy Father has been so interested in issues of refugees, uh, the most current uh, situation in Europe, in Ukraine, in Russia. And I think his desire to, you know, walk with us, the bishops of Canada, in the path that we want to forge in this new relationship with our Indigenous communities. And in many ways, we recognize his pastoral leadership in this desire to, to come and to be present uh, in the country of Canada. And we look forward to it. Um, we hope that by listening this week, he can be better prepared for when he does come for that pastoral visit. And Your Excellency, we have probably about a minute left or so, but I'm curious, um, is there anything that you would like our viewers to know about, something that we didn't touch on when it comes to the situation? Well, I think this situation is international. Um, we realize, too, that Canada has established these particular educational systems as a country, and we also that in other jurisdictions, uh, the United States, uh, parts of South America as well, and other parts of the world, Australia. And so these, I think, are international um, issues, 
And it's just happening and unfolding in the country of Canada at this point. And I think that is why the Vatican is, is keen to be seen and actively working and helping and assisting us in, in this reconciliation, in this path of, of, um, of, of suffering that has been so devastating to many in these communities. Well, Your Excellency, thank you so much for speaking with us about all of this. We appreciate it. Bishop William McGrattan, Vice President of the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops, thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.